All right, summer seems to officially be here. It hit 31 degrees Celsius the other day with high humidity, so it's here. Uh, we're still getting rain every once in a while, but basically the summer has started. So I also see that Tories, which is, uh, I don't know if you've ever had uh, Tories highballs. A highball, well, you know, highballs, just whiskey and uh, some kind of juice or whatever. I like the Tories highballs. They're very refreshing. Uh, a little bit of lemon taste there. Well, now they've got a special summer label come out right now with the fireworks and all that on it. So we're going to crack that and have it because what a way to celebrate summer. Mm. And to go with that, what do we got here? All right. This is walnut pesto chicken and pasta salad. And I've made the pesto using walnuts instead of pine nuts. And uh, there's some cooked chicken in there. There's fusilli pasta because the fusilli pasta just sucks up all that, you know, the, the pesto it gets into all those little grooves and everything. And I've added a couple uh, pieces of red bell pepper in here. I chopped up red bell pepper so it gives it some color. Oops, overboard. Anyway, mm. yeah, there we go. It's one of those things that, you know, on a hot summer night, that's it, right there. You can even buy cooked chicken ahead of time so you don't even have to cook that. The only thing you have to cook, of course, is the pasta. You can do that in the morning while it's still cool out. Um, let the pasta cool down, and then at night, we can whip up the salad, and you're good to go for dinner. All right, let's go in the kitchen and make some of that right now. All right, ready to make our walnut pesto chicken and pasta salad. Pretty easy, uh, unless of course you have to pre-cook the chicken or something like that, which is just, you can just boil it in water, uh, po poach the chicken. So what we've got here is to make our salad, across the front first of all. Uh, this is a one ounce or about 30 grams of Parmesan cheese grated, finely grated. Uh, two teaspoons of dried basil. You can use fresh basil, just you know, increase the amount, but. A lot of times I've just only had dried basil on hand, so that's what I use. That's probably what you've got on hand. Um, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, two cloves of garlic crushed, half a cup of uh, walnut pieces, two thirds of a cup of olive oil, which we may or may not use all. We see as we pour it in how much we need. And then across the back is the salad itself. This is eight ounces or 230 grams of fusilli pasta. I like the fusilli, of course, because it grabs all the stuff in there. Uh, and that has been cooked, then rinsed well. Now you want to rinse it off when you let it cool, otherwise it just sticks to each other, and allowed to cool. Um, this here is seven ounces or 200 grams of chicken, in this case thigh. Oh, you can use either thigh or breast. I like the thigh, it's juicier. And uh, it's been cooked, cooled, and shredded with forks. And then here we got one red bell pepper chopped up, uh, finely chopped, add a little color to our salad. So first thing we want to do is we want to make the pesto. And uh, to make the pesto, we're going to take the walnuts, add them in there. I'm going to add in the salt and pepper. I'm going to add in the uh, basil, the garlic, which might need a little help to get off here. The garlic. And the Parmesan cheese. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just pulse this until it's all kind of fine and then we're going to add in the olive oil. All right let's have a look at that. That looks like it's come together quite nicely so just uh, grab a little bit of that. Yeah this is like little pieces of uh, walnut in there that is absolutely perfect. This is like little grains of sand about that size. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Wait, there we go. <laughs> I've only had this machine for like, what, 40 years or some of that? And forget which way to go on the switch. All right, now slowly drizzle in the olive oil. All right, we've used a little over, a little over half a cup, so I just want to check and see what it's looking like. 
Oh, it is looking rather nice. Let's see. Can you see that? Look at that. And it's just dripping off there like that. That's a pretty good pestle. Uh, I'm just going to get a little stir because I see a little olive oil sitting in there. So I'm going to get a little stir around and work down the stuff on the sides. And then just zap it a little bit more. All right, so it looks like we're not going to need all that olive oil. About a half a cup will do this time. Um, depends on your walnuts and all that. So put all this stuff off to here right now. All right. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to put you up there. Stay. All right. Let's get all the ingredients, the salad ingredients themselves, into the bowl here. So in goes the pasta and the chicken and red bell pepper. And then I'm just going to take this and mix it around until it's kind of combined. I got an even distribution throughout. Oh, look at that. See that red bell pepper is really adding the color in there. Sorry, we've lost the overhead camera. I don't know what happened to it. It was working a little while ago. So today we have to look at it like this, okay? <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right, you see that nicely uh, distributed. So now what I want to do is I want to get that pesto in there. Uh, get that blade out of there. So we've got some on here. We get that off. Now you might find a little olive oil still standing in the bottom. So just kind of give it a quick mix around. Make sure it's all incorporated, and then we add it to our salad. All right. <laughs> now you can see we've got the uh, a nice blob of uh, pesto in there, and now I'm just going to work that in, mixing the salad until we've gotten the pesto throughout the salad without losing any. All right. So I just got to lift and turn, lift and turn until we've got pesto throughout. A lot of that's going to go into that uh, fusilli pasta, which just you know, soaks it up into those ridges. That chicken is going to soak some up. Oh, <laughs> you cut that out. <laughs> All right. He doesn't want to be in the salad. All right, that is, look, look at that, that is good. Now what I'm gonna do now, you can eat this as is right now, um, room temperature, or you can chill it in the fridge for a bit. Eat it's fine, but just that is absolutely perfect. That, that is dinner tonight, a great summer dinner. All right, if you like this recipe, stick around. There's a lot more original Kevin Riley Kumis Kitchen recipes here on YouTube. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel because every Monday there's a new recipe coming out and you don't want to miss those. Also, if you're not yet a patron of Kuma's Kitchen, well, please consider becoming one. For as little as $3 a month, you can be supporting the creation of more and more of these original recipes. Hey, and enjoy eating them. All right, so now go make this um, delicious chicken and pasta salad with a walnut pesto and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>